So John McAfee is dead. He died yesterday in a Spanish prison. The man was uh, traveling internationally quite a lot in his uh, later years. And uh, he got caught. Unfortunately, the Americans put a request in to say, capture that guy. He owes us X amount in tax. And uh, one must, first of all, feel sorry for Americans. No matter where they are in the world, they have to pay American tax. So, you know, when I was a kid growing up in Saudi Arabia, my dad, Brit, British, they, you know, the, the UK government's like, well, you're not earning that money in Britain. You don't have to pay UK tax. My dad was earning big, fat petrodollars and not paying tax. Yet my friends' his parents, the Americans, had to go down to this little tax office and uh, send Uncle Sam their shekels. Sorry, it was Saudi Arabia. It was rials. Rials. So John McAfee, big traveler, uh, alleged tax avoider, tax evader. That's why the U.S. government was after him. It broke. The story broke at about 8.15 p.m. GMT plus one summertime last night. And I've been looking into it soon after his death was announced on the official John McAfee Instagram page. Someone posted a giant letter Q. People found John McAfee's tweets saying that the government's going to suicide me. They're going to fucking Epstein me. And he got a tattoo on his arm uh, that said whacked, as in taken out, as in a hit has been organized, assassinated. A lot of whacking going on in The Sopranos, another great show from the 90s, from my youth. Now, I only found out really about John McAfee, obviously through Windows, computer, you know, uh, antivirus. My dad, another boomer, same ages, and also called John. Same age as McAfee was using McAfee products on this computer until I said, Dad, you know, you're paying this monthly, yearly subscription. It's all available free on the internet. AVG free. Never went wrong. Is antivirus still a thing? Is it all built in now? You may recall, this is how weird the world is. Was it the same island? There's, there was a, a, a British lady aristocrat. She was drinking rum with the chief of police. Was it in Belize? And he's like, yeah, whatever, sister, play with my gun. And next thing you know, she shoots him in the head by accident in a stupid drinking game. I think it was on Belize. John McAfee was uh, there in the Caribbean, parts of Central America. And uh, it's generally agreed that John McAfee became insane, like Daniel Playview from the film There Will Be Blood, based on a novel called Oil. I have a competition in me. How much longer can I be around these people? So John McAfee went mad, went crazy. He was extremely rich. The tax man says, just, you know, as an old retired man, between 2014, 2018, he earned over $10 million for doing nothing. So you can imagine how much this very clever IT guy was earning at the height of his career, getting bought out for billions of dollars left, right, and center. So, about a decade ago, the whole world learned who John McAfee was because he went on the run after allegedly shooting his neighbor in the head. Allegedly. The reason he went on the run and evaded the, the Belize or whichever island it was, police, the local police, is like, oh, I would never have a fair trial. They wouldn't treat me fairly, so I've had to run away. Anyway, on the hush hush, a few years later, John McAfee pays the man's family 25 million US dollars. It's not the sign of an innocent man. I'm not a murderer, okay? Have some more money here. Here, have another 10 million dollars. So when I learned that John McAfee was dead in a cell, Obviously, very reminiscent of Jeffrey Epstein. We need to ask, what is the simplest explanation? A 75-year-old crazy person, very strong ideas about the government being after him, who has been not paying tax. I'm not going to get into the moralities of paying tax. Fuck that. That's a different subject. But 
people need to realize just how easy it is to kill yourself with a few bed sheets and a metal frame of a bed. You don't need to have a great height to hang yourself with a noose to jump off for it to break your neck. Now this is purely for just John McAfee situation here. This is not for educational purposes. I am not advising anyone to ever try this. You'd be crazy if you try the following. But with a bed frame, with some bed sheets tight, very t tightly bound, you can move a bed frame around and around. You can manipulate it. You can move yourself around. You can move yourself around, get the knot round. Until next thing you know, you've slowly constricted all the blood flow to your brain. You fall unconscious and you die. That's how Epstein did it. That's probably how John McAfee did it. Other people are a bit luckier. Like that old Serb, was he a Bosnian Croat? He was a Yugo, former Yugoslav guy. Took his cyanide at the international court at The Hague. Probably his lawyer, his friend, some charity, some uh, agent passed him some poison. So he was like, hey, you're going to spend the rest of your life in jail. I'm going to pause for a bit. Noisy lorry. So in conclusion, like here's the Veach view. Here's how I see it. I think to say that John McAfee didn't kill himself at this stage is just as crazy as making other absolutes without any evidence. If you're going to make big claims, you need big evidence. This is why when I analyze those US Navy videos of the un unidentified aerial phenomena, I was like, yeah, it's probably not aliens. Probably. And so when, uh, when deranged, eccentric, gun-crazy, Caribbean-living, drug-taking billionaires, all that fun's over and they're in a solitary cell with nothing for stimulation and all they've got to look forward to is humiliation, indignity, suffering, bad memories, fall from grace. There's your motive. They killed themselves. I'm sorry. Now, I hope so many of my viewers can watch this and hear this and without freaking out just because you disagree with me. No, oh, Charlie, he did kill himself. Okay, show me the source. Show me the evidence. I need to see some evidence. You can't just say aliens are real and show me some foggy infrared gimbal fucking spinning bloody thing. I need to see a full fucking HD close-up image of an alien craft opening up and fucking aliens coming out of it. If you're going to tell me that there's a, an ability for very powerful people to be assassinated and no one can provide any evidence for it, then that's a whole problem in itself. But clever people, and John McAfee, very clever man, obviously, they know how to kill themselves with a bed frame and some bed sheets. And from what I can tell, this is the Veach view in conclusion. Some people just have as much fun and cause a lot of damage and end up killing people, trafficking underage girls, fucking shooting their neighbor in the head. But their luck runs out one day. That great party ends. The circus falls down onto itself and the clown gets crushed. And that's what I think's happened here. This is Charlie Veach in Central Swinton, 23rd, no, 24th of June, midsummer.